New episode of Saturday Night Thomas Strike, 847. How are you? Today we're going to kick things off with Sirius Samuel because what's, what streams Canada than a white guy shooting things in Egypt? I can't think of anything. Can you? We, um, on top of this for the program, we have the musical stylings of, uh, Dan Reynolds. People being beaten to death, possibly in multiple locations, including this one. And so, so much more. That all sounds like fun to you, then please continue watching. If not, well, I don't know what you're doing here, frankly. I think you might be kind of fucking dumb. Boy, this is not, this is ain't, this ain't looking good. You get that health, come on. There. Jesus Christ. Right, I'm gonna get that one more try. Uh, yeah, it's really fucking hot here today. I don't, you know, there's there's not really much insightful commentary I can give other than it's really fucking hot today. And, like, I don't really, like, I didn't want to, and so that's why the AC's on. Fucking deal with that, nerd. I know people complain about that. They can suck my, they can suck my ass. Oh, cool. I definitely didn't shoot that. This is a fucking sick joke. This is normal difficulty. One more try, goddammit. This is how- this is how it is in Canada. Fucking miserable. <laughs> Fuck off, you Valkyrie bitch. What is it? There it is. Shit. Ah. Uh. Damn it. 
I'm gonna get through this, motherfucker. You piece of shit. This is becoming, this is becoming a fucking Moby Dick situation. Because I don't, because in my years of playing this game, and I have allegedly completed it, I don't remember, I'm going to have to trust my brother on that one, I don't remember ever completing this game. Um... I think I vaguely remember the last level, but I don't remember any- I don't remember this shit at all. So I'm convinced I never played this one. Oh, cool. So I want to get past this. Cool. What a fucking sick joke. Thought you were dead. Damn it! Oh, fuck, I was, thought that was an enemy. What's gonna fuck me here? With serious Samuel, even even when you know what's gonna happen, you don't quite know what's gonna happen because of the way this game works. Okay. Jesus Christ! Hey, that is. Oh, I guess I missed some armor. Or are those? Oh, well, those are rockets. Which I don't need. Cool. Okay. Uh, is there anything we might have missed? Secret. Anything. Anything that might uh, help us. Yes. Yes, we apparently did.
Okay, let's go in, let's go into there. This is easily the farthest I've been. I, I wish that was a joke. That's good. That's enough. Yeah, I am serious. Motherfucker. <sighs> Enjoy the fucking program. God damn it. <clears throat> oh, it's been a little bit, hasn't it? Where I've had to talk about The Simpsons in any, uh, in any, uh, up-to-date capacity. Because the last time we talked about The Simpsons, that was from, like, fucking April that that's sh shuttled into now anyway uh, I watched two episodes and we're gonna run through them pretty quickly because one of them was a parody of when Harry met Sally the um, the Billy Crystal movie <clears throat> called when what is it when Mel Nelson met Lisa? Point blank period. I haven't seen the, I haven't seen the movies parodying, so this is not my target audience. I, I've just never seen that movie, uh, so I don't I don't know how funny or not funny it is if you have seen that. That said, if I if you haven't seen it, it's 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 just fucking it's. <clears throat> It's it's that fucking it's that fucking episode from a few seasons ago that I might that I talked about. It's like Moho House or something. It was this serious bullshit. No, fuck off. Go away. I don't even remember what happened in the episode. I don't, I, I just didn't I didn't care. Something hap stuff happens. Who cares? Now for the better episode of the two. Uh, and I don't even I don't even know the name of it, but <clears throat> it's the episode following that one chronologically. Basically, an episode where uh, where Bart uh, gets in on a Roblox scam, and it's fun. It's a good episode. Not not quite a classic, but a good a, you know it's it's a fun time. And I feel like that's all we can really expect from The Simpsons these days. Just it's a fun time. A fun time. I I legitimately have nothing else to say other than that for this episode because like I can I can recount things that happen, but functionally it's stuff you've already seen a million times before. It's just now it's Roblox in a in a commentary that feels about three or four years old. But you know, welcome to the Simpsons three or four years old at least. More like ten, but I digress. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Bart gets in on a Roblox scam with, and then Principal Skinner gets involved and then it all just ends. After a gang war and... Okay. My description might not be doing the episode justice, but trust me, if you watch it, you will you will understand that there's not really much to it other than that. Oh, there's also a subplot of Maggie getting involved with uh, playing the game and all the whole family being excited that she can talk in the game and <clears throat> that's neat too. Basically, the, I could really, I could have really summed it all, all up with the Simpsons indulge in Roblox. That's basically what it is. That's basically what it is. So uh, that's it. Get the fuck out. Moving on. Moving on. Let's go places. No franchise has history like the Green Bay Packers. The all-time touchdown pass record goes back over a century, back to Curly Lambeau, who first had it. This is the progression through the Packers' best passers, Tobin Road. 
in the 50s and 60s, and Bart Starr held it for almost a third of a century, and then Brett Favre for nearly a quarter century, and the mantle passed on Christmas Day of 2021 to Aaron Rodgers as he threw the record-setting touchdown, and then got the greeting on the big screen from Brett Favre as well. Did you really, though, think about Brett Favre and not think about John Madden just Absolutely. a little bit? <clears throat> I mean, they were kind of the same guy in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> they, they knew how to have fun. Uh, the stories, too. Just when, when you heard Madden say Brett Favre's name. Sports content. Right. So, different, right? Sorry, it's, it's just, like, it's just like there, it's fucking freezing <laughs> here. Didn't uh, didn't really think this through, but we're we're in the we're in the thick of it now, baby. Snap it! Okay, all right, good, good, good boy, Dylan. I'm not actually thrilled that he's getting yards. Not not the not that he's on not that he's on my fantasy team or against me. It's just um, you know, I I have I'm I, I mean I'm not I'm not putting through these inning yards now because last week I tried to use them. But I don't know. It's not the point. Um, but it's 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 good because that that takes time off the clock, which means the Packers defense is um. What the fuck is Terry McCauley doing here? Just according to their personnel, what this crew is doing with six, they they've completely removed the umpire, which is going to make it extremely difficult. You have the referee now working all ten linemen basically, plus the quarterback by himself. So this makes this a, a very difficult inside game. To oh, it's storming outside. I don't care what Terry McCauley's saying. I'm a little fucking concerned. A window's gonna break right next to me. Time wasting plays are exactly what I need here, boys. I hope this is a lot better than the fucking Detroit-Seattle game. Because uh, that one ended up being a little exciting. That one ended up being a little not terrible. But you know, this is this is where the big boy got to play. Minnesota defense make the stop of Vikings defense that needs to play better, especially in this must win game for Minnesota. Yeah, and it's going to be tough. Because yeah, it's fucking Sunday night football. Outside, Green Bay Minnesota, and Minnesota, so two teams that are not terrible. I mean, it would certainly not take any skin off of my ass if they decided to be unexciting. But, you know, still. I mean, I'm torn because I really want to fucking win my fantasy championship, but you know. I also don't want to... Watch a fucking shitty football game, you know. And I, had, I had to. I I was forced to trust the Packers defense because I made a mistake. I didn't wake up in time to deal with it. That's extremely concerning. Are they going for it? Yeah, DJ Wanham made Aaron throw it around him a bit, but that was some catch. 
That's a great catch, so I ain't gonna make the highlight reel. That's that's honestly pretty sad. <laughs> really fucking nice catch. They probably should have kicked the field goal. Even you know, even if they'd made that, uh, it probably should have kicked the field goal. You know, just a probability thing. Okay, well let's get away from whatever the fuck this shit is. Brilliant. Mm, figure it's about time to update the Twitch ad. It's only been several fucking months. Follow me on Twitch. This is where. This is what you're looking for. This this is definitely going to be outdated by the time you see this, but. Yeah, we're almost at 200 followers, so come on down. Come on down to the show. Link in the description as well. But, you know, if you're if you if for some reason you didn't you didn't click that or you're watching on a Roku or something, uh this this is what you're looking for. This is the picture. This is the banner. Um This probably won't be the most recent past broadcast, but it'll be one of them. Yeah. Uh huh. Hello, this is Ranks Projects. A little bit different than usual, though, because I, I need to kind of explain this. Basically, what happened is I was doing a Twitch stream from the phone here, and it had a little bit of a fuck-up, a little bit of a boo-boo, but it was a strange one because it wasn't one that you could actually hear on the stream. And I'm going to present a small clip of the stream in question for you right now. Um... This buffer is here because I genuinely don't, I, I don't at all remember, I, I don't, I don't remember what this was supposed to be. Like, I, I don't, I don't remember what footage was supposed to be here, I, I don't, I don't know. So, yeah, here, here's this. Hey, 
there, dang. Let's play a fun little game called How Long Will It Take For, for Me To Have To uh, Black Out Twitter? Okay. So far, so good. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, we hit it. How long was that? 40 seconds. But for some reason, right? For some reason, um, I gotta keep doing this, otherwise I'm gonna fu otherwise thinking gonna fucking close is annoying. Anyway, um, The sound on my phone just, like, completely fucking died. I mean, okay, here, let me, let me, let me show you a recording from before this took place. It was gonna go in the, it was gonna go in the junk folder, or the, it was gonna go in fucking trash tea, but, but you know what? It's being pressed into service right here because, you know what? I, I, uh, duty calls. We need you in the big boy lead right now. So here's that. Y'all know what this is. It's a Twitch ad. It was extremely goofy skateboarding for the Pain Olympics, a series that I do with Cat Loving Tommy. Franny Yo oh, actually, no, Franny Yohenny is no longer a part of it. But I just had the intro in my head. Uh, Cat Loving Tommy, Lilith Rose 423, Norcat, N O R R K A T T. And, um, Devil Summer Marie, who recently got added to the roster, uh, where we play terrible, terrible games given, given by each other. Now, and, and th now this one had a little bit of a boo-boo, but it's not the usual boo-boo that happens, um, when we have a Pain Olympic stream or when I post a Twitch ad, right? This one was, um... I'm just gonna throw this one in the trash. I didn't... I, didn't... I got the preface all fucking muddled here. And, um, so yeah, here's, here's our French project. Basically this. We need to see if this is fine. Or at the very least, if it's fine for everything but streaming with Twitch Mobile right now. Which means I'm gonna have to run various tests, which are annoying and I don't like that. But, <gasps> whatever, we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's go.
Actually, having issues with. <clears throat> or, well, I was having issues with a lot of things, but this is the one that I tested to see if the issues would persist.
I'm not noticing the sound issues yet. So that's good. I am glad that this match is going on a little long, so I can, I can, you know, Well, that's, that's, that's that, right? Oh, no. Now it is. Oh, maybe not. I'm still not noticing the sound issues. So I'm hoping that was a fluke. A fluke that I can't actually quantify in any way. But you're just gonna have to trust me.
I'm still not noticing the sound issue, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think you're lying to me. I think it was fairly close, but far be it from me to tell you otherwise, right? Okay. Well, um... Sure. Okay. I... I guess it was just something specific to Twitch? Now I'm now I need to now I need to check something else. Cause this this is where the problems arose originally. Now I'm getting a little fucking unamused. A little bit little bit uh hurt. What? Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, fuck up. We'll go with this one. Yeah, still not noticing any issues. So maybe it was just a Twitch thing. I really fucking hope so. And I hope that Twitch thing is resolved at some point. sniper rifle anymore. Later, bozo. Still not noticing the sound issue, so it must be a Twitch thing. I hope that resolves itself. Cause, god damn it, how can I, how can I describe the sound to you? It was kind of, hang on.
Okay, anyway. It kind of sounded like every noise was this coming out of the mic. You know? But since it's not making the noise now, and since it didn't actually show up in the recordings of anything that I did... Um... Apologies for the hurt ears, by the way. Uh, but because it didn't show up in any of the recordings or whatever, I don't have any way of quantifying it other than saying that. That's how it went. Yeah, I'm still not... Okay. Ooh, it's storming outside right now. Oh, that is deeply concerning. I don't know if you can hear that. Ooh, that's bad. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, based. Okay, hey, go away, thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake, game. Oh my god! Okay, thank you. What? Okay. Can I, can I just can I just play the fucking video game, please? This was another game that uh, I noticed the issue in. Oh boy, that is coming down. Oh, 
I don't know if you can hear that. Wow, that is deeply concerning. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this, this, isn't gonna, this is gonna take, like, the first fucking cutscene to figure it out. A little low, but no, doesn't no, there doesn't seem to be an issue here. Okay, well, looks like that was the Twitch specific thing. Thank God. Okay, well, I suppose that that concludes this endeavor. Hello, welcome to Things That Piss Jason Off, and this might surprise you, but this kind of does. Let me try to explain why. So right here, you're looking at Thug Pro. If you've never seen it before, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mod that piggybacks off of the PC version of Underground 2, but it has its own launcher, and it, it has a bunch of fucking levels. You can, you know, from under, from, uh, from, un, from Pro Skater 1 all the way to, uh, now Project 8, but originally it was just Underground 2, but the, they have since widened their scope. Now, the thing that pisses me off about this isn't the gameplay, because, I mean, look, you know, fucking gameplay is fine, right? Let's fucking hop on over to Berlin, do a high score run. With this skater here. Right? See, look, it's fine. Everything normal. I'm not really trying very hard, by the way. I just want you to see that everything's going normal. But yeah, no, see what everything's fine. Everything's everything going well. What is that? I actually didn't figure that out earlier. Oh. I like that duck. See, look, nothing's crashing, everything's working.
See, everything's working. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, pr I'll fucking prove it on prove it on on one of the uh, older levels to show that everything is working fine. Focus works too, you know. Oh, it's missing the um, missing the manual box. I didn't, I didn't actually notice notice that when I played it earlier, but it is missing the, the tech box. See, all right, here's where the bullshit comes in. Here, let's go, let's go with the Tifa, right? Let's go with this Tifa. <clears throat> So right, you know, you see you got you got fucking Tifa Lockhart skating in Taco Bell, right? Skating in a fucking Taco Bell, right? Like, well, well, you know, what what's wrong? And you we're we're getting there. To see like you look, everything's working fine. Nothing's breaking. This Tifa did replace Chad Muster, though. Pay attention. That's, that's an important part of this. Like, I know it's supposed to be a fucking meme level, but it's actually really fucking good.
See what? No, nothing, nothing going wrong here. Nothing going wrong here. <clears throat> here is another. Here's another example. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Actually, I do want to see something now. Oh, that's so cool. Does the Taco Bell sign line up or something? No, but that is that is cool. I didn't know that this one of the, this is one of the levels that had that configured. Anyway, so let's go with one of the dumber ones. Still nothing wrong here. If, you, if you're tired of trying to figure out what the issue is, it's that this takes so fucking long to configure. Like, it works. Kind of. We're gonna get, we're gonna get to that in a second. This is certainly one of the dumber levels, by the way. Like, like this is just, this is just, you know, a demonstration of you can. Congrats. But I think it's fucking neat. That's why I downloaded it. However, I'm gonna say this. You sort of need to have a prerequisite knowledge of how to mod shit to get this to work. And you know, oh, fucking, of course, right? Of course a fucking modification would require that you have some level of fucking knowledge on how to mod something. N no, no, let me, let me, let me try to explain this a little bit better in a second. Cause like, yeah, you know, you can fucking... You can fucking fuck around in Doom, in the Doom hangar, or fucking Taco Bell, or Sesame Street. Let's fuck around here for a second. Another actually, uh, very small, but surprisingly charming level. And there, there's more I could show you, but, and we, and we'll probably get to that. But you know, And by the way, this would work in, uh, I believe this would work in, in your Underground 2 save, too. But more on that in a second.
So, okay, let me go back to the start and try to explain how this is fucking absurd. So, right, like, I got all these goofy fucking characters, and there are some that aren't even seen, like Isabel the dog from Animal Crossing. But, you know, to get this, 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 that, this, this, there's a few more, actually. This one. Well, this one's a little different, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge in a second. This. One of my favorites, actually. <clears throat> this. Probably my favorite, overall. And where's the last one? This. And this. To get all that working, uh, to get all of that working is such a fucking pain in the ass. Because sometimes, sometimes they make it easy for you. Sometimes they give you a, a an SKA file, which is just the stator uh, save file. Like, like for this one. <clears throat> sometimes they don't. Sometimes they they tell you to uh, to to replace the uh, the model in the game, and just tell you to fucking get over it. Sometimes they supply you with the. Sometimes they supply you with the folder for the model that you're supposed to replace. Sometimes they don't. This is one of the ones that did. Uh, fucking... This one wasn't, as an example. And... The original way that they... The original way that you imported levels was such a bitch, too. Because they're, they're, this, this wasn't here. Before, you have, before they, all, they all replaced this level right here. But thankfully, that's been fixed. Not all of them, but a good portion of them have been. And after this run, to, to demonstrate one of the other bizarre levels, I'm going to show you how fucking ridiculous this is in a, in a brief example. Because I plan on uninstalling this once I'm done with this video, so I kind of need as much out of the as much mileage out of this as possible. And let me be clear about something before I continue forward. Uh, once you configure it, this is great. This is fun. You know, I'm not really, like, big on multiplayer gaming, so that primary aspect of this is lost on me. But, uh...
And, you know, I could make a comment that some of these skaters are really, like, Im like technically impressive, but hard to fucking use, like Rosalina. But I think you understand it just by, like, looking at it. But, okay. So, let's take a look at Pauly Ryan here, right? Fucking, uh, fucking this dipshit. This stupid asshole. So, there's an SKA file that I have for Jack Frost, the, uh, the little, the little man from, uh, the little, you know, the little cheat little thing from, uh, fucking SMT, the SMT series. You know why it's Polly Ryan standing in there right, right there? It's because you're supposed to replace the Polly Ryan, uh, text, it's just, you're supposed to replace, replace the Polly Ryan text, text, texture files. Except, <sighs> let me try to demonstrate this to you while talking to you. Also, a uh, side note, another, th another thing that really fucking annoys me is that in the American Wasteland slot, it says the Ruins is available, but it's not. It's not available in state. Also, there are some levels like the streets from Pro Skater and uh, New York from Pro Skater 2 that are added in as imported levels, which is fucking annoying. But anyway, uh, let's fucking go to... Uh Kyoto, right? And just have this little chat. So I'm going to demonstrate this in a second. But, okay, try to picture this with me before we get to that conversation. <coughs> when you have specific directions told to you on how this works. You are given specific files to put in the spot that you think the specific directions are being told. That you're being told with the specific directions for, th for these things to go. Okay, well, what if... No, actually. What if no, actually? What if that just isn't how it works? For some of them. Like I said, like Isabel and fucking Ronald McDonald, they were pretty fucking simple because they gave you everything you fucking needed. But other ones, oh, we're gonna get to that. Other ones like this one, actually, even though I like it a lot, and I'm not even a fucking Billie Eilish fan, I don't really give a fuck about her, fuck about her music, but you know, like this one, this one was a pain in the ass, honestly, <clears throat> so, okay, you found a skater you want, it could be anybody, let's just use this Billie Eilish as an example, right? And you want to add her to your game. Well, you're told that you have to... It's, you're, you're told on the page that it replaces X. For some reason, a lot of these skaters in Thug Pro replace Chad Muska. 
like uh, like like the Tifa did, but that's not always the case by default. Sometimes it's Bob Burnquist, like with the other Tifa. Sometimes it's fucking. Sometimes it's Costin. Sometimes it's a pedestrian. We're gonna get into why that is, uh, why that, why that is kind of a problem too. So, you found who you want, and it says to replace X. Well, in the, uh, on the online tutorials, it tells you to, uh, fucking... Oh, he vented. Anyway. In the online tutorials, it tells you to go to X folder and replace the file that's there so that the game reads it as, as Y. Right, like it reads it as this. So if I don't even remember this one replaced what pedestrian boxer, and if you go into the game, it'll fucking come up as that. <clears throat> it'll go go into this. Actually, if you go into the pro and go into underground two, it'll fucking find it as that too, because. I'm sorry, let me just, let me just have one with my favorite, and then we'll go. Uh, let's go to... Goofy Streets, because this is a fucking goof troop ass shit. Like I said, once you get it working, great. But we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle why this fucking blows to get set up. Especially if you're like me, who's unorganized. So, actually, a better example would have been Tifa, because, okay, so Tifa has, you know, replaced Chad Muska, and you go to the folder, and you replace Chad Muska, and she shows up with Chad Muska's moves, all that, with graffiti, all of it. Fine, right? Makes sense. But <clears throat> and you know, but but you know, uh, you come into you come, you come across another one that tells you you have to replace Chad Muscle. Well, that's not really that big of a deal because you can just rename the file to. Uh, another skater using the same formatting. For example, when Hogan with another one that replaced Muska, but I changed the cost in. Chuck E. Cheese was another one, but I changed it to Margera. You get the point. It's the ones that change to pedestrians that piss me off the most. Because there is a very specific way to deal with those, and it is never the way you think it is. So. Now that we have properly demonstrated the game, basically the selling point, obviously I'm not going to play online because I don't give a fuck, because I don't give a fuck about that, but th this is the basic selling point, you can do a bunch of bullshit with the game. Okay, so here is my primary fucking gripe with this, and I'm going to keep the, uh, I'm going to keep this, I'm going to keep the stream black for a second just so you understand, or just so, just so you can wait a second. Oh, I actually have it open already. Perfect. Well, I'll just, I'll just open the other one up. <clears throat> well, 
while we're while we're waiting. So let me change to entire screen. So this is where the Thug Pro folder is it's in your app data folder on your fucking PC. That that's where this installs to. Even though it asks you where Underground 2 is installed, which we're going to get to in a second. So, let's say you found a character. Could be anybody, doesn't matter who. You... For the purposes of this endeavor, let's just use Tifa again. So you go to stator underscore pro, and you, uh, fucking... paste the... Dot. I think I think this one came with a dot with a dot skin and a dot tx file, and you put and you place these there, over the other ones that were there, and then the Tifa will show up. Same. The, the, this was for Heather Mason. Uh, this one was for for um, Tarty Cheese. This one was for Hogan. You get the idea. Now, here's where things get fucking annoying. So, let's say that you have somebody that is default replaced with Muska. Well, your options are you can replace it with Burnquist. Oh, look at that. Burnquist is taken up, so that's not going to happen unless you want to get rid of that one. You can replace it with uh, Tony Hawk. Oh, that's, that's gone. Eric Costin, uh, as Don gone too. Bam Margera, gone. Rodney Mullen, gone. Chad Mustard, gone. Mike V, gone. And you know why that is? It's because despite everything, you can't actually change the ones that were from Tony Hawk's Underground 1. So you can't change Alyssa Steamer, you can't change Jamie Thomas, you can't change Paul Rodriguez, Andrew Reynolds, Jeff Rowley. Can't change any of them. Or if you can, I haven't fucking figured it out. And I got so pissed off trying to figure it out for like an hour and a half that I just gave up. And, okay, so here, here's this, right? You got the Peds folder. Oh, well, that's certainly not all of the pedestrians in the video game. But, you know, if, you, if you're given a PEDS folder, you're either... You're usually not given... You're usually not given the folder that you're supposed to pot copy and paste in. Some of these did, like Mr. Bean and uh, Isabel. But some of them... But most of them didn't. Here's what you gotta do for those. Keep in mind... This is where Thug Pro is located. You have to go to your Underground 2 folder and fuck with the data and models in that one to get those. To get those changed. Like, say, um, the Boxer. The Boxer here is a uh, fucking... It's fucking Billy Eilish now. Except I don't think I'd actually be able to find out in the game. Because I don't think I have that one. Unlocked. I don't think I have that one unlocked yet. Not the point, I suppose. And you know, there's the ped, the zombie male one, which is uh, I think Oscar now. And um, there was another one in here, wasn't there? Attendant. Yeah, there we go. This one's me too. This one's me too now. <clears throat> and so let's talk about Jack Frost again. You're supposed to replace it with Polly. It gives you the files for Polly. I, for the life of me, could not fucking figure out where Polly was in these files. And I checked both of them. 
I don't know where he is. Because it's, it's not here. You would think he's in the pedestrian section. But that's not where he is. That, that's just not where he is. It, it, it he's, just, he's not there. But he's in the game. And my, my going theory is... Uh, t two things. My going theory is that I have to unlock... My going theory is that I have to unlock... Uh, Polly first as as a hidden stater to get him but I contend that that's not even true because I can change the files for staters I don't have like Nick from um, like Nick from fucking uh, well, fucking what is it, what's one of the true crime games true crime, true crime streets of LA I actually forgot for a second I know I knew it wasn't New York, but I, I for I forgot if it was never mind. But you can change these, provided you do it right. I actually couldn't change them because I didn't do it right, but you, you could see it theoretically change them if you wanted to. Uh I don't know where the fuck Polly is. Which is one of the glaring fucking problems with trying to configure this shit. It's... I don't consider myself a dumb person when it comes to technical technical things. But th this... You gotta have a better fucking roadmap than this. And now, on the contrary... Levels are pretty fucking easy. You just make a new folder here, and you just put the .dat and the .json file. Sometimes it just comes with the .json. Most of the time it comes with both, but sometimes it doesn't. From the level you want, and then you, you know, you fucking go. It's that simple. It's literally that fucking simple. <clears throat> And here, just so you think I'm not fucking with you about Underground 2. <clears throat> here. Just so, you think, just so you think I'm not fucking with you about Underground 2. See, look, right? <clears throat> because these were not changed in this perspective folder, they were changed in the Thug Pro folder. Everything else here, everything here is fine. Hawk, Burnquist, Hawk Hostin, Margera, Mullen, Musta, that disgusting looking creature, Ryan Sheckler. Jesus Christ, he looks horrible. I can't believe people thought he was odd. Mike V, they're all there. Curiously, I don't actually know where the fuck Wee Man is supposed to be. Either, but that's beside the point. Uh, you're gonna see the Jester here. But there's gonna be one curious difference. Uh, that's not like any hospital attendant I've ever seen before. And oh, look at that, that's quite the fucking zombie. Also, I didn't actually know I had Neck Unlocked. When did I get him? Anyway, oh yeah, what is that? There's Oscar. Nobody ready. Nobody ready. Also, wait, what the fuck? Oh, that's very bizarre. Yeah, look. Quite the fucking zombie, isn't it?
Quite the fucking zombie. Because I had to change that in the game folder. Which, which, which changes it for both. And you might think, oh, well, what's the problem? No, there's, see, see, you're missing the point if you're asking what the problem is. Because that's, that's not really an issue. What the issue is, <clears throat> is no clear fucking explanation. I don't really give a shit about changing the textures on my original game. If you just fucking tell me that's what I have to do. Especially when all the tutorials say, oh, you can just fucking do it from the app data folder. You can do it from the fucking app data folder. The app data folder! The fucking app data folder! You know, some of them you can. Some of them you can't, and they don't fucking tell you that. you are so you have to back up all your shit and get incredibly unorganized and confused and oh it pisses you off Conclusion, uh, play Thug Pro if you like configuring bullshit all the time. With no clear explanation from anywhere, and you just gonna have to fucking figure it out. Unless you don't want to fuck with any of the cool characters, in which case, I kinda don't know why you're playing a mod. Point point three, I don't really know why you're playing Thug Pro if you don't want to fuck around with all this stupid shit. Once you do figure it out, it's great, look at this. But, you know, it's also worth noting that it's a massive pain in the ass to get it set up. If you don't, if you don't know what you're doing. Which I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing, I'm just gonna fucking say that. Say it up front. But... <clears throat> You know, there, there's, there's better ways to do all of this. Namely, have some goddamn directions posted. Because, uh, by the way, the README files that come with all, with, with nearly all of them, not all, not all the skaters come with a README file, but the ones that do come with the README files, I did appreciate, but they were also not, they also didn't, they didn't, they didn't answer, they, they didn't, they didn't address. my point of concern either. Also, uh, two things that now that I'm thinking about are kind of annoy the shit out of me about Rook Bug Pro is it doesn't seem to <clears throat> it doesn't seem to um, load your graffiti 
Uh, load your fucking graffiti. And, uh... <clears throat> it doesn't seem to... It doesn't... It, despite transferring it, it doesn't load your graffiti. As, as well as it transfers your, uh, your skater file. To that folder. Another annoying thing about it, really. <clears throat> no, it, 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 it's, it's mostly annoying because... I just don't like having a bunch of sh I just don't like having this shit constantly spread all around my fucking PC like that. It's distracting and it pisses me <laughs> Oh, and another, and another thing, and, and the final note on, uh, Bug Pro that I actually found to be incredibly fucking annoying after a while is that every time you started a high score run, and you actually saw it every single time, it, it, like, starts you in a jump. It starts you in an ollie, and I don't, I don't understand why. Because, like, the enter key is not... It, it's not a fucking alternate <clears throat> jump key. It's just, it's just doing that. But anyway, yeah. Yeah, that was my, that was my fucking plight with Thug Pro. And I suppose by lesser extension, Thug 2. It's a fun mod, in theory. Just, just know what you're fucking getting into. I guess would be would be would be. Not Thank you for coming to my TED talk. And you might be thinking, boy fucking howdy, you wasted nearly an hour of your life get bitching about this? Doesn't this seem like a bit of a skill issue? No. Fuck off. <clears throat> oh, actually, one more fucking thing, I guess. Apparently even uninstalling it is a pain in the ass. Great. Fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all shit, it decides to dance at your premises. I mean, this is your main event of the evening. We got some shit to solve. Because I get a lot of people pissed at me. For how the, uh, the, the, the title scene is shaken out. So, in the interest of fairness, we're gonna have Sting, Goldberg, Rick Rude. Kurt Angle in a battle royal to determine the number one contender to the advertisement championship because, you know, I mean, Terry Funk's the champion. We can't take that away from him. He, he has clearly won those matches, but due to a lot of uh, errors and various fuck-ups, we need to determine a new contender once and for all. So... We need to determine. We need, we need to determine a new contender going forward. So,
we're going to have this match featuring three of the competitors in the Battle Royal that is... That, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a binding championship match. The result doesn't get nullified, but... Uh, it... It, it stands to reason that we should have these three gentlemen in the match again. Um, because, you know, it, it, it was chronologically out of place. It's a whole thing, right? And uh, Kurt Angle is, is just unamused because he was... Because he beat... Laparka in a fall anywhere match that he considered to be one of his finest performances, so here, here you go. What the fuck are you doing? Depending how long this goes, we may have a match for the Dark Match Championship after this. It just kind of depends. This is over with in under five minutes. Then we'll have we'll have one for the Dark Match Championship. So we'll just have to see. Also, I'm playing as Sting solely because it doesn't give, it doesn't necessarily give him the best chance of winning, but because he was the one that kind of got fucked the most out of his title match. In or fucked around in title matches, it it stands to reason that maybe he should get you know the get get this treatment. Damn it.
Fuck off, turd. Ah, oh, you dickhead. Well, it's between Kurt Angle and Rick Rude now. Who will become the number one contender? I kind of don't care what's going on outside. I'm offering token resistance to Goldberg. Looks like Rick Rude is our number one contender. I think Sting and Goldberg are need, they're gonna need to have a chat at some point, but for now... six eighteen thirty nine.